So hello everyone, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to cover a scenario of Salesforce flow. So the scenario is really simple. We have one opportunity and on to that opportunity we have multiple quotes. But from those multiple quotes, one of them is primary. Right? So what we need to do whenever we are going to change the stage of opportunity from any other stage to closed one or whenever the stage uh, is set to closed one, we are going to copy the quote line items into the opportunity line items, or you can say opportunity products. So simply, whatever the quote line items we have, whenever we are going to change the stage of opportunity to closed one, we need to simply copy those quote line items to opportunity product. So without any delay, let's check it out how we can achieve this automation. So first of all, I'm going to create a new flow. So this is going to be a record triggered flow. As you can clearly see, whenever we are going to change the stage of the opportunity, we basically uh, copy the quote line items to the opportunity line items. So simply I'm going to select record triggered flow and click create. Now here I'm going to select the object. So that is going to be opportunity. Now here I'm going to select a record is updated. So whenever a record is updated, now we need to provide the condition requirement. So condition requirement is pretty much simple. Stage equals closed one. And here we need to select the second option. Now why I'm not selecting the first option, I will let you know, right? and what is the issue with this particular first option like it is not an issue it's working as builded in salesforce flow right so the reason is i am only going to create the opportunity line items when the stage is changed to closed one and the second second condition is basically only when a record is updated to meet the condition requirement i will also let you know once i configured the flow right i will show you what happens if i change the first option over there like if i set the first option over there just for your understanding i know what it is but just a demonstration for you guys what can go wrong if you do the same kind of mistakes in your flow as well now here i'm going to select the action and related record so it's quite clear that we are going to create related records in this flow right so first of all we need to fetch the quote like which quote we are going to use in order to use the quote line items, right? Or we can directly fetch the quote line items as well. No, we cannot directly fetch quote line items uh, from the opportunity because we requires the quote ID. So how we are going to do that? We are going to use the get record element. So let's say what? then object is again going to be caught. Now in this, I am going to provide the ID of the opportunity because quote is basically linked with opportunity. So opportunity ID equals to record dot ID. I hope this is clear to you. Now I'm going to fetch only the first record which meets the criteria now, if you remember, I, I told you that we have multiple quotes and we need to fetch the primary one because I set up my org like this, only a single quote can be a primary over there. Like if you add further quote over there, you will get error like you, this quote cannot be primary because a primary quote is already existed over there. So we need to add one more condition that is, is primary equals true, right? And here I'm going to select only the first record and automatically store all fields. Now, first of all, I'm going to use a decision like whether we have the quote available on opportunity. So I'm simply going to use decision and the name is check for quote. So I will provide the label as quote exist. And in the resource, I'm going to provide quote from get record element is null boolean false that means the quote the get record element is not null that means it contains some data in it right so if it contains the data now we need to fetch the 
court line items and how we are going to fetch the court line items with the help of get record element again so let's say court line items and object going to be court line item now again here i need to provide the court id so let's say court id equals court from get record dot id i hope this is quite clear to you now once this is done what i am going to do i am again going to check in the decision element like whether i have some court line items or not available on the court right so let's say check for court line items now here like this again the same thing court line item from the get record element is null and value as false also one more thing in the get record element i need to make sure i am selecting all records because right now you can see it is selected as only the first record so the re uh, now i am setting it as all records now if you remember recently few days back i told you the concept of transform element right if we don't have the transform element for now we are going to use loop after this step in order to create the multiple court unity line items but now we have the transform element right we can directly create a uh, opportunity line item we don't need to actually use loop in this scenario so i suggest if you don't know about the transform element how it actually works i will suggest you check out that video i will add it into the i button and i will and i will also add it to the description of this video make sure you check it out so now i am going to use transform element here let's say generate opportunity line items now in the source data first of all we need to create the same number of opportunity line items as court line items so here i am going to select court line items and now in the right i need to create opportunity line item record variable or collection record variable basically because we need to store multiple over there so here i am going to select record i am going to select allow multiple values and the object opportunity product and the api name is opportunity line item so simply now i am going to click create and here you can see now we have the source data we have the target data simply we need to map so first of all let me see what are the things that i need to map i simply map description to description i will simply map the other value let's say list price to entry id to price book entry id product to id to product to id then quantity to quantity then we have any other so i don't think so let's say unit price to unit price and if you want to map service date to service date i don't think so now we need to add anything because total price will eventually automatically gets calculated right so these are the things that i need to map now you will see we did not provide opportunity id because in the court line items we don't have any so for that i can add another source data that is opportunity and that comes from the record global variable so now when i simply deselect this accordion here you can see now i have the record start element that is basically uh, the record that triggers the flow so from here i can fetch the id because this is the opportunity id and i'm simply going to map it with opportunity id so here you can see how i am actually mapping these things and i hope it actually making sense as well now once this is done i need to create these opportunity line items so what i will do i will simply use create record element use create opportunity line items 
and now I am going to select multiple and in the record collection here you can see the transform element and opportunity product from generate opportunity line items simply select this and we are good so now let me click on save auto create opportunity line item that is oli from qli that is port line items and if you can provide the description you can this flow is used to create opportunity line items from port line items when the opportunity is closed one now i'm going to simply click on save and now i'm going to debug so i'm simply going to click on debug let me select any uh, opportunity let's testing go up and i'm also going to skip the start condition so let me click on run just to check if everything is working fine so here you can see everything is working fine as expected right so now i'm going to click on activate let me go back to the flow and here let me go back to the opportunity board now let me click on the same opportunity testing op and right now you can see we don't have any products here and it is already closed one so first of all let me just change the stage to some different stage because the flow will only work when the stage moved to closed one right so first of all yeah, right now you can see we don't have any products we have one quote available over there and you can see this quote is actually primary is primary is check as true right and let's see how many line items we have so we have three quote line items now let's go back to the opportunity and try to change the stage to closed one let me select closed one here and hit save so as uh, the flow run you can see three opportunity line items gets created whenever the stage changes to closed one now this is working as expected right now i told you like once that this particular scenario is done i'm going to show you if you select the first option over there let's say this one right so i'm going to save as new version and let me try to activate it so you will understand what it actually means so this flow should run as it is every single time right because i just change the stages every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirement now the thing is for example let's say this opportunity is closed one and for some reason i need to update any field on this record right now you can see we have three products right but let's say for any reason we need to make a change on the opportunity level let's say i need just need to change the close date or you can also automate this but just assume this can be one of the reason so <clears throat> i am going to set it as 23 for what let's say i am going to go on save so now you can see once i run this particular update when i updated the close date you can see the automation run again now we have six line items available over there and the reason being because the stage is closed one and the flow meeting the criteria so that's what this first condition actually means every time a record is updated and meets the condition requirement right so it will consider like okay flow is meeting the criteria so we just need to follow the same steps but that is wrong now assume you are doing some different scenario you are sending an email to the customer and you selected the same thing over there let's say first option and you are making any update on the record so see how crucial it is because customer will be bombarded by these emails right and you are not going to do that because this will not bring a good impact on your brand right so i hope you get the point and make sure to use the second option available to us 
whenever you are updating something all right and that's it thank you so much if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos